You guys remember that song back in the day? The Jehovah's Witness King of Melody. Um, I can't sing for shit, so excuse me. But it goes something like this. If you, <laughs> if you keep your eyes on the prize. Y'all remember that song, right? They keep your eyes on the prize song. Um, how the fuck we go from keeping your eyes on the prize to let's not be fixated on paradise. You, you see, this is where a lot of the old timers, right? The old timers who are Jehovah's Witnesses. It's like, where's the common sense? How are things not clicking to them that uh, something's a little off here? This entire time, like I said in my previous video, uh, I think I made it last week, but like I said in one of my previous videos about uh, the, the governing body leaders are now telling witnesses not to be fixated on paradise because they, they know paradise is not happening and they know that people are becoming impatient, right? But how do you, how do we have a whole song? I said we, I'm not, not we, sorry. How, how do Jehovah's Witnesses, how is it that they had a whole song called Keep Your Eyes on the Prize? How do you have a whole song called Keep Your Eyes on the Prize? You're pretty much telling people to stay focused. Stay focused on paradise. Stay focused on the new system. How do you have a whole song about that? Back in the day, and now they're telling people, eh, don't worry about paradise after all. Don't worry about it. It come when it comes. Huh? How insulting is that? And it's like, if you don't keep your eyes on the prize, if, you, if you're a Jehovah's Witness and you're not dwelling on the new system, if you're not dwelling on seeing your dead loved ones again, right? If you're not dwelling on living forever, if you're not dwelling on never having to deal with any financial, physical, emotional setbacks, then why are you Jehovah's Witness? If you can't focus on the reason why you're Jehovah's Witness, then why are you a Jehovah's Witness? But like I said before, the entire reason why people are Jehovah's Witnesses in the first place is because they want to make it to paradise because they believe that paradise is right around the corner. Now, me personally, I'm no fortune teller, but I can bet my left nut that paradise ain't coming. In fact, I'll, I'll, I'll bet both of my nuts, the left and the right, that paradise is not coming. And it's like, this really feels like a horror movie. When you wake up from this cult and you see people that you still love uh, still trapped in this shit, they're, they're, they're still trapped in the matrix of the watchtower. They're still lost in the source. And it's like, guys, did you Jehovah's Witnesses? For, for all the PMOs that's watching this video, for all of you PMOs that still have access to your family members and your JW friends, you know, I don't because I am a full-blown apostate, right? But <laughs> for all of you PMOs out there that can still communicate to your Jehovah's Witness friends and family members, ask them this question. Ask them, how do you guys keep your eyes on the prize like they've been saying this whole time and now they're telling you to not focus on paradise does that really make sense to you does that sound like this is a legit organization from god would god throw people in so much turmoil and confusion that one minute he has them so obsessed so ready to play with pandas and lions and hyenas and then the next they're saying ah j j just do your best in this system and when paradise comes it will come but don't focus on paradise say what that's like me going to work for two weeks and my employer is telling me oh you're gonna make bank you're gonna make you're gonna have a nice paycheck in a few weeks 
just keep coming to work keep coming keep doing your part keep coming to work on time do everything legit listen to me i'm your boss i write your checks you and i'm telling you you're gonna have a nice check in a few weeks and then a few weeks come and you got no money and you asking your employer you see you run to your employer and you say hey listen hey you, you said to me a few weeks ago i was gonna have a nice paycheck I, I, I've come to work on time. I, I'm doing my job efficiently and effectively. Um, what's, what's the money? I'm not doing this for free. What's the money? What's my paycheck? And your employee goes on and say, uh, don't worry about the money. Don't worry about the uh, damn paycheck. Just keep coming to work and I'll pay you when I pay you. Can you say that? <laughs> Can your employer say that to you? And you, you, you still gonna be working at that job? Hell no. So likewise, why would a Jehovah's Witness keep their eyes on the prize after all these years? After all these years, they've been patiently, patiently waiting for this paradise that they was promised. Jehovah's Witnesses know that deep down inside, they know paradise should have been here by now. It should have been here by now. And now you're not supposed to obsess about it when they pretty much devoted their entire life to this religion. And I'm talking about all those, the old timers who sacrificed a family, who sacrificed a, a good career, who sacrificed their hopes and dreams for this man-made religion because they really thought that by the year 2024 that they would be in paradise and now their leaders are telling them don't keep your eyes on a prize anymore don't focus on a prize focus on the task at hand continue to go to your meetings continue to go out and service continue to give us your currency continue to donate your money to this religion to, towards the governing body leaders focus on that but don't don't you dare focus on paradise don't you dare focus on that when all this time they've been telling people keep your eyes on the prize where is this prize when are jehovah's witnesses gonna wake up and realize that this so-called reward is never coming. We've been duped. It's a hoax. When are they going to finally connect the dots? Now, thank God there are thousands and thousands waking up every year. Thank God for that. But there's still millions locked in. There's still millions fast asleep. And then people like me have to come on YouTube and make these videos to help people wake up. And like I said, if you are a PIMO, if you still have access to your Jehovah's Witness family and friends, ask them this question. How is it that, what, 20 years ago, they had, we, they had a song, you know, could be a little more than 20 years ago, but 20 years ago, this is before the new songs came out and stuff, right? But there was a song called Keep your eyes on the prize. Where's the prize? And how is it in the year 2024 you can no longer keep your eyes on the prize? You can't do that anymore. Because the governing body leaders know that people are getting tired of waiting. So now they have to come out with this, this, this bullshit. This bullshit ass update. This, this new talk telling people oh don't worry about the new system don't worry about that it will come here when it comes how insulting is that my heart goes out to all the old timers all the Jehovah's Witnesses the born and raised JW's there are now 50 plus like I said they could have been married could have had kids could have had a good career they sacrificed all this shit for what for what? For something that they can't even dwell on. 
They, they, they can no longer dwell on Paris. You can't make this shit up. You really can. But yeah, if you are a PMO, please ask your JW family and friends that. Ask them that question. How is it that one minute they had a whole song called Keep Your Eyes on a Prize, and then 20 plus years later, they're telling you to no longer focus on that prize? Now, I have to throw in the scripture. Malachi 3 6 says, I am God. I do not change. So if God does not change, then why is it one minute they say something to keep keep focus on the prize, the next minute they say don't focus on the prize, and then the Bible says, I am God, I do not change. Make that make sense. Make that make sense. Anywho guys, just wanted to make this quick video because my heart really goes out to everyone that invested their entire life, their entire being to this organization. And what did they get in return? Not a damn thing. Not a damn thing. If you are a Jehovah's Witness, know that, yes, I am a full-blown apostate. Know that I've done my research. I did the homework and I realized that I was born into a man-made cult. A cult that produces nothing but seldom pipe dreams. Because I was able to read between the lines. And I pray and hope that you can do the same thing. Wake up from this cult and you can live your life. Your true, one, authentic life that we have. I pray that you can do the same as I've done. Because I promise you, there is life on the other side of Watchtower. I love you guys and I will see you on the next video.